Good morning. We are at Sandal Castle. I think that's how I pronounce it. This isn't going to be today's vlog because it's quite busy and the weather's a bit dreary. Nothing that kind of makes you go oomph. But I am hoping to revisit this area for a star gazing kind of image that I want to experiment with. However, it is quite a nice view and area filled with adventure. We can turn it round, lots of castle, lots of people climbing. Would be a great place to bring a push chair. I'm all about push chair friendly walks. And we have a coffee shop with Sunday dinner and breakfast. Everyone likes breakfast. Whew. I have climbed up here and I've got to find out a way to climb down with one arm. Mm, should be interesting. Okay, we are going to head off to the next location now, which hopefully will find us some pretty good compositions. Bye for now. Hello. We have come to Walton Collier Nature Park. I probably said that completely wrong, but spelling and pronunciation is not my strongest of games. I don't know if we're going to find anything that's going to be photographically exciting. Oh, there is a grease running towards me. Are you saying hi? <laughs> oh, <laughs> she didn't actually make it into a screen. <laughs> She's so cute and scrummy. Hopefully we'll find some compositions. Shall we back? Uh oh. Never mind. We have stopped to take a photograph of a heron which is currently sat right over there. I wonder if I can zoom in. So you can see if that's the furthest I can zoom in. It's sat in pretty much the centre of this image here. Oh, I'll zoom out. You can probably hear Grace watching TV on the phone. It's not our proudest of habits. Oh, look at this one and a duck coming to say hello. what your name is. <gasps> Duckies! This is Ollie currently submerged in water. Committed to making that shot the best it can be. I hope his shoes are waterproof. And here's a friend that keeps on hissing at me. Quite a little beauty, really. Ollie's just gone to go find his picture of the heron. And he is very close to the water, but hopefully it will pay off. I've seen what he's taken so far, and to be fair, they do look quite worth getting wet for. What do I think to where we are, location? I like it, we've walked past some horse riders, a school of horse riders I'd say, lots of young children riding the horses, that was nice. There is a shot which I've taken, um, apparently the herons have fl flown off. Oh. Yeah, there is a shot that I've taken. Um, We'll see if it's worth it. It might be, it might not be. But I'm starting to kind of hit a bit of a phase with my photography where 
it might not be a portfolio shot that just makes me go floor. I can't say that word properly. But I want to experiment. I want to make mistakes. I want to engage with the process of taking a photograph rather than look for a portfolio worthy image. Was it? It was kind of getting me a bit bogged down with the idea of is this going to be client worthy or is this going to be Instagram worthy or am I going to be able to sell this? Yeah. I kind of just want to have fun. Um, and perhaps if the image is worthy, I will show you when I go into Lightroom and talk you through the process of taking it. So you can see for yourself and if you have an SLR camera, you can try a similar approach. Um, it is quite difficult taking photographs without my family and vlogging, I'm not gonna lie. Where when I'm taking a photograph, I'd love to be able to talk you through it. I'd love to be able to kind of say, right, this is the f-stop, this is the ISO, this is the shirt and speed, shirt speed. Um, whether or not I'm auto focusing or manual focusing. However, when you've got Grace and an Oliver to entertain, it's like having two kids. <laughs> he heard that. <laughs> it just doesn't happen. <laughs> Oops. Okay, so we are back in the office. I am sat back at my desk and we are going to go through the images that I took up on the day. This might be a little bit jumbled up because this vlog YouTube video very nearly didn't happen because my MacBook here decided, mm, no, I'm not going to work despite only being two months old. However, managed to fix it with a bit of Google searching. Seems to be working so far. Right, this image here is one of the images we took upon the nature reserve. What really attracted me to it was the reflection of the trees within the water. And when I've taken the image, I actually really, really beautifully like this reflecting line of the clouds. It's just full of leading lines. Okay. Now if you look over here, there has been adjustments made, however that is because I've created a free image panorama. Okay, so I'm going to start with resizing my image. I think there's just a bit too much going on. I want to kind of centre this particular tree. As you can tell, my approach to cropping is usually a bit hit and miss. Okay, so if we go over to the right hand side of the screen where the editing dialogues are, we can tell that the exposure has already been taken up slightly, 258. And that's automatically been done within the Adobe Panorama software. Contrast. I'm going to contradict the software and take it up slightly. Highlights. Fonts. Okay, so we'll go to Clarity. Dehaze. I'm going to pull down black slightly. Saturation a bit. Oh no, that's far too much. Vibrant. Okay. 
Let's go ahead and hover right and hold. I'm just going to show you that if you double click on one of these teardrops, they look a bit like teardrops, it will take you back to zero. So that's at 40. Okay, so. Now there is part of this image which I am finding quite distracting and this leaf over here. The rest of them I quite like as a lead in line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to control click edit in Photoshop and we're going to remove it out. Okay so I've opened my image in Photoshop. What I tend to do is create a secondary copy of the image and duplicate the layer just so I've got a reference copy to how my image has been modified. Okay, so spot healing brush, see how much this one does. Yeah? I'm gonna go as far as to get rid of this one. That didn't help so much. There we go. So command S and that should save image straight back into Lightroom. It's updated it. Awesome. There is the final image. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm fond of the reflection within water, the leading lines, the autumn. You can kind of tell by this kind of day that spring, or at least nicer days, are on the way. We will move on to the second of images that I took from the day. And this one I'm really excited to go through. Okay, so this particular image I have already uploaded onto my Instagram due to, well, my MacBook going, no, I'm not going to work today. And I didn't think it was going to be fixable. However, thank goodness, it has been. This particular image fills me with so much excitement because on the day, when I saw the horse hoof, I was like, right, I want to get something that kind of involves that composition within the mud or imprint, sorry, within the mud. I want to have fun. And I don't care if it's going to be a decent picture. I don't care if it's going to be one that makes me go, oh, I just want to do it. I want to explore. And everything within me, the practical photographer was like, no, don't waste your time. But I did. And I actually quite like it. So I'm going to talk you through how I'm going to edit the outcome. But before that, so I was manually focusing within this image and I had my camera on the tripod. I manually focused it upon the horse hoof, which is in the foreground, at an f-stop of f3.5, which is why you've got the blur in the background. OK. 
Okay, if I jump over to the editing suite, exposure probably slightly up. I don't want to over edit this image because I feel like it's already got enough power behind it. Down slightly, sorry. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a gradient to the image from the foreground only. I'm going to bring up the contrast, but what I mostly want to do is bring up the clarity and create a bit of an oomph within it. Done. Okay, and there we have it. We have the second image of the day. And I think that's time to call it a day. Thank you for watching. I hope you've learned something and remember, be kind. See you next time.